Hey, welcome class. This is Teacher Blaze, and I'm trying something new today. Uh, been really heavy into the strategy lately in the Warhammer. So I thought I'd play this new game called Dave the Diver. IGN gave it a 9, and it sounded super intriguing, and I just thought I'd want to check it out, and I'm already kind of jamming out to the vibe of the music and the feel of it. It's only out on Steam, um, but let's check it out. Hermit crab trying to get me. I'm loving the vibe so different from what I normally play. So apparently this game is like a mixture of exploration, restaurant management, RPG, um, be interesting. Interesting that they have the credits at the beginning. I don't really want to skip them. The names look very, like, Korean. Maybe this is a Korean game, I don't know. So we'll see how this video does. That does does. Uh, Dave, you got here quickly. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So where's the sushi at? Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the side. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the train and ecology changes, which means it could be an incredible business opportunity. Oh, so it's procedurally generated on what kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? Guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. Don't have a good feeling about this. A sushi bar by the blue hole. All right, we're going in, everybody. Oh, this is cool. Nice form. How about trying stretching out a bit? Try moving to the marked area. So with LT, okay. LT, left trigger. We can uh, go faster. Looks like your skills are tasked. Dive knife. Smooth and quick, and finally you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon. The harpoon, I haven't used one in a long time. Uh oh. I wasn't paying to. Oh, I gotta hit A. There we go. So old. Yeah, okay. And then. Oh, oh, got one. That's cool. Those poor fish. Let's get one of these. Alright, going back up. 
This is a neat little game. <laughs> now that you're the hang of it, let's get down to business. You love sushi, right? For sure. That soft meat with oily rice? Oh man, that's just the best. Listen up, I have a friend who is a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. <laughs> It is right here that I started a restaurant with my fellow that so, friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. Hey. The sushi sold here is made from fresh, fresh fish caught in a blue hole where the fish from all over the world can be found. Oh. Do you, don't you think people will go just nuts for it? Yeah, probably. I'm already craving it. Oh. Oh. I bet. Why don't you join this awesome mm. venture as well? Oh. Restaurant is already. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Sure. I have to pay though. What? The sushi restaurant next to the blue hole. It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. It's kind of nice just playing a relaxed game like this. Are we all ready to open? Ready to open. As you can see, it's ready just in time. Oh, that must be the sushi chef. The sushi chef. Oh, it's already finished? You, are you the fisherman Cobra was talking about? Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. All right, anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Bancho. You, so you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, DLC, urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. This is mediocre as expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul and sea of the land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted a more accessible fish just like you. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. That's not good. <laughs> An earthquake. The interior is really quite a mess. Looks like we'll have to delay the opening today. You know what? I'll have to recover the repair costs you're doing business. In this state, wahaha. In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. That's true. That's very true. First, we need the ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Only three fish? That won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish. Gonna open up only in the evening. Won't that decrease sales? Do you think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It's a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword, sword on a whetstone. I like this guy. You'll need to get the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. All right, so that's the gameplay loop then, right? Open the restaurant at night, fish in the day. I haven't seen Banjo so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, we need more ingredients, so go catch seven fish first. Okay. Yellow Tang. Oh, it's cool. It tells you all this stuff. There's some. No! What? Oh, you little bastards. There we go. You gotta be hurt. There we go. So some take two fit shots. Stay still. Got you. Punk? What's that down there? a piece of wood. Okay. I 
want to get that crawfish. Come on. Okay, clearly we can't get grab those. shot that wasn't oh, okay so those hurt you damn it I didn't think I'd have to fight like that Kill it, get this thing. Got it. We got some more air, so we might as well keep going. Oh, those are new. See how this game would become very addicting. We have different weapons and stuff. Let's go a bit deeper. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, this one's mad at me. No. Let's get to the surface. Oh, I cut that one a little bit close, eh? Oh, that was fun. Dave the Diver. All right, looks like you caught quite a few. This rate will make boatloads of money in no time. Blah, ha, ha, ha. All right. I only spent four minutes down there. I like that it tracks that. Biggest fish, a yellowback fusilier. Red lionfish. There we go. Once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Okay. Watch it all. How the preparations coming along? I think we're mostly set. It's good. Here's a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're here to help me run the sushi bar. What? So I have to do everything? Cobra told me that there would be somebody to help me with the ingredients and serving. He said all I need to do is cook. And who else is there for you for that but you? Never worked in a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. Here you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Show you how to register actual items in the menu. Menu. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier. Try registering that to the menu. <laughs> Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient too. <laughs> Only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. Now, using ingredients, cut to fill up as much as you can. 
people like the red lion fish but we only have a couple of those a lot of blue tang and there we go enhance okay i don't know what that means auto supply There we go. How long are you going to stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Have you poured green tea before? No, only soft drinks, I think. Disc, I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Pour green tea just the right amount. Oh, that was pretty good. Okay. Right. Don't pay more. There's something to eat, depending on how... Demanding as always, why don't you try serving some food? He wants what he's cooking. <coughs> Come over to where I am to take the food. He just leaves. <coughs> we'll have to throw it out. It seems like such a waste to throw it away. Pancho Sushi never uses food. We do not put food made for our guests on the table twice. Ooh. All right. Food looks ready. <clears throat> Don't forget, press Y after filling the menu for business to begin. Customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes to the menu before the sushi bar opens. Okay. Let's open. Hello, welcome to the late night sushi bar or whatever. Ooh, two red tails, okay. Oh, she wants green tea. Do the farther one first. being a waitress I'm coming looks like we have to harvest like kale and stuff too you were here first Coming. This. <laughs> this is such a charming little game. Made thirty-seven dollars. Nice. Close for the day. Earn five artisan flames. Okay. I don't know what that does, but I'm down with it. <laughs> Work's finally done today. My bit, my head back and legs hurt. You're a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try hard next time. Are you kidding me, Bancho? I tried my hardest. I spoke coming from you. That's a compliment. Hey, okay. a man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. This guy's so serious. What? Sea monsters? Well, I don't want to deal with that. Huh. That doesn't seem good. Does not seem good, people. Oh, Ellie's calling. Who's Ellie? Are you the man who's been diving around here? Yeah. 
I was expecting a more professional looking guy. They're so mean to me. I can hear you, you know. <laughs> In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study bio biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Jeez. What do you want? Like to st study the ecology of the blue hole, get me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to just ask for one of each, get me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. I like that. Stand up for yourself, Dave. I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. A reward? Well, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. Red ecological da data. Smartphone. Here's your smartphone. Check your current missions. Phone is this. Let's see. Do I have any mail? That's pretty cool. Excuse me. Weather, calendar, music. No pictures. Mini games. No. Guess we'll go diving. Okay, we need two red aguar and two jellyfish. Not jellyfish, starfish, right? Let's do this. But I do like that it changes every time. There's some seaweed we can grab. the ones that you have to hit twice. There's an eel here. Get out of here, eel. Get out of here, eel. I thought we could get the seahorse. Let's keep going down. Don't have a lot of O2. Maybe it just it's a level up thing. Oh, I got O2. Oh, these guys look good. Get over here. Might as well grab you while I'm at it. Ah! Or do you weaken them? I don't know. Oh, I just got that one last second. Oh, it hurts. I don't think sea urchins can be picked up with these gloves. Okay. I need another red starfish. What's this? Let's try and find another starfish. That guy's way too big for me, I'm assuming. I wonder if you can... If the sushi you caught the day before can be used again. This guy has no fear because he knows I can't hurt him. this puffer fish how long is he gonna stay puffed
Missed him there. Oh, I get you, pufferfish. It's the last thing I do. looking for that other there's a chest down here oh, I got a shock bang stick I don't know what that is okay let's get up It'd be cool if you could upgrade it to like pull multiple in at least I think so Back to the surface. Wasn't a bad run. Mediterranean parrotfish was new. We got olive oil, okay. Dave, did you get did you get to loosen up yesterday? Mm. I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any deeper. Didn't notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. <laughs> Perhaps something puts them on edge. Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun? What? A gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Oh my god, look at the neck beard. His name is Duff. Wow, Cobra, it's been a while. Who's the goofy looking guy next to you? What is going on? <laughs> Why is everyone so mean to Dave? Interesting, I thought divers were athletic and muscular. <laughs> you seem to defy my primary knowledge. People who live in glass houses. So what's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the point. I've begun a very interesting business, and now I'm in need of some weapon stuff. I need your help. Hmm, season two of Straw Strella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. Oh my god, he is a neckbeard. All right, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. This ter the terrain and ecology inside changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. Interesting, I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Hmm, that's rather interesting. You piqued my interest. As a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. Oh, okay. So anything in the blue hole we have to use to make our weapons. So we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this master duff. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think I'll need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him, right, Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Keep Always keep that in mind. Okay. So it doesn't kill you, it just, uh... Uh... Okay, here's my second dive. Mm -mm. So I should stop wasting time trying to catch big guys that I can't... do anything with. Oh. oh, there's another red starfish. That's good. Come on. Cheap Japanese sword, nice. Gives me longer range. Oh, there's something up here. 
Didn't mean to do that. Right now, the, I'm just getting the fish that seem to be targets of opportunity. this critical depth got an escape pod escape pod okay so i don't think i can go much deeper Soy sauce in the bottom of the ocean for some reason. Maybe that's why the fish are so angry. Get back here. What? I hit the rock. Get over here. Okay, I'm gonna start heading up. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to drop something. How much overweight am I? Copper ore. Goodbye. This is the wrong way. This one might be close, everybody. Oh no, we're fine. Return to the boat. You actually brought them back. I expected too little of it. This should do for now. Give you a reward as a pause. Promised. Sudden ecological changes in this region you will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Okay, add my number. Gold, olive oil, and soy sauce. Nice. Red ecological data. You collected 100 gold! Great job, this should be enough to repair what's broken. Give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. Dave is such a nice guy and everyone treats him like crap. Nice. Hmm. Wrap up your day and get things ready at Banco Sushi. Let's do it. Can we check if what is this? Okay, it's a diver box. I kind of skipped all that. Sorry, I started skipping it and then I realized I didn't know where it was going, so I panicked and kept hitting it. Okay, so we gotta hit ingredients. Oh, you can sell ingredients, okay. Let's check out our menu. Oh, we can enhance these. Okay, let's do this, but enhance it. Level two. This is awesome. That was pretty cool. So anything that has a bunch of, I'll enhance. It just takes more of the There we 
we go. Okay. I think we're good. I don't think I want a time skip. Hey, this girl was here last time. Have some tea. Oh, that was way too low. Now. Nailed it. At least you don't have to remember what they ordered. It's over their head. That's nice. There we go. Making some good money. Oh, I gotta clear plates too? <laughs> Here you go, madame. Bon appetit. Man, this game just... You know what? It's exactly what it, it wants to be, and the vibes are great. It's just awesome. I'm really enjoying it. Your date by chance, Dr. Bacon? No. Yes, what is it, sir? Well, I'm always right about these things. Haha, right. nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. Archaeologist who studies the Sea People mm. Civilization. The Sea People Civilization? I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me tell you about no. them? Maybe I shouldn't have asked. The Sea People Civilization lives in legends. They worship fish and had, had gills and allowed them to live underwater. We lived in the depths, allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasions by other civilizations. But sudden changes to the sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. That's about all there is to this sort of story. Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course. But proof they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is an amazing find, one that can turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea. You'd only see such things in comic books or games. What makes you so sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it is from no known civilization. It's dated to around 1500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. That is interest, but what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out, and he won't be around for a good while. That's why I need you to help me. Oh, my assistant told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go take a look. We're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can... Huh, sorry to interrupt the com conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help. We'll gladly, gladly do so. What? We don't have time to swim around searching for artifacts? Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Nancho sushi will be bursting at the seams. Suppose you have a point. All right, I'll help. Isn't that lucky? Of course, I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Wow. With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. These days, even such things can be hard handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing, eh? Let's first install the iDiver app on the phone before we proceed. New content, iDiver. Okay, so that's how I upgrade. Now then, let me tell you how to use iDiver. Install the app for you, unlock your phone. Upgrade. There we go. Cool. Okay, we finished the prologue. There we go. 
That's kind of was my goal for today. What else could I upgrade? Cargo box might be nice. Harpoon gun would be good. So I'll probably do that. How do I save? There we go. Saving. Empty save. All right. That'll be it for me, everybody. This has been Teacher Plays with Dave the Diver. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, kind of a different thing than I normally play, but it's been fun. Class dismissed. <laughs>